welcome to my channel. My name is Deanna Reve, and I'm going to show you guys how I get defined curls from a braid out. So I'm starting with freshly washed hair and I'm going to put my hair into four sections so I can start working in products. I'm going to start with the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. I like to work it in four sections just like I do with my curl routine just to make sure my hair is moisturized in case I'm leaving it in the braids for a couple of days and it helps with definition as well. I'm gonna start working that product through with my fingers and with my Denman brush. And the next product I'm working in is my Shea Moisture Curl and Hibiscus Style Milk. I like to use this as a leave-in as well, just because my hair has been on the drier side and it does help with moisture. And then to end it, I'm using my Shea Moisture Sacha Inchi Oil Cream. Sorry, these names are really long, but I like to work the products in this order for definition and moisture. And if you want to add holds, it's optional to use a gel cream or curling jelly, which I do suggest, but I'm just not going to do that today, just because these products do help give my hair holds for a couple days. I like to start the braids from the outside of my head, working in, just because I can part easier that way. And then to smooth down my edges, I just use my handy dandy toothbrush. <laughs> and then I start braiding. Um, when I'm working from the outside in, my braids are more even, and then the curls, once I take the braids out, are even as well, but not too even. It gives it a more natural look. Parting pattern I'm trying to make the starting point like the side of my head which is why I'm parting it this way and it doesn't have to be even it doesn't really have to be perfect um, the back sometimes you can run out of space so I make that a little smaller but after I get my hair parted I make sure that I brush it with my Denman brush so that it's smooth and the product is reworked through my hair and when I'm braiding it my hair is slipping through my hair so that nothing is catching and my hair isn't breaking. I do like to put my um, fake baby hair <laughs> to the side just to have something out just so like my forehead isn't so out there but the baby hair I just clipped down so I'm not braiding it into my braid and then I just continue braiding once I have the fake baby hair pinned down. If you see that your hair is tangled or you feel the tangle, you can just brush it with your Denman brush. I like to braid as far down as I can and then I'll leave a little bit out and twist it just so the ends are curled. Um, I like to curl the ends just because it'll look more natural once you take the braids out. braiding I try to get as far in the front as I can just so my curl isn't starting from the back and just so the braid isn't starting from the back as well and once I get to the back um, it's thicker back there so I do go a little slower just to avoid tangles and avoid you know pieces of hair sticking up going for five braids but it just did not work out that way I have too much hair 
so I did have to split this middle one into two. I did start braiding it and it was just way too big. So the part, you know, I'm trying to center it on the side of my head so that when I take my hair out, it'll all fall to the side of my head or I can make it fall to the middle. I'll have that option since I'm parting it um, with a center, if that makes sense. Just take your time as you're braiding your hair. You want to avoid breaking any hair. Um, the product being so moisturizing and having slip does help not to break your hair while you're braiding it, but still take your time just to ensure that no hair is being broken off. And you'll end with six braids. Um, you can do more if you want a tighter look. To lay down my edges, I'm using my toothbrush and my Eco Styler Gel, the Oregon Oil one. And once I lay my edges down, um, if I'm going out, I'll put my hair in a little bun. You can add hair to it if you'd like, put some jewels in your hair. You can wear the hair just down. Or if you're just going to leave your hair like this overnight, you can curl your ends using the curl rods. But make sure that when you take your hair out, it is 100% dry or else it'll turn frizzy. Um, when I'm putting the curling rods in, I like to curl my hair around it, then lock it in by bending it, and then I'll curl it a couple more times, and then I'll lock that down. I'm not exactly sure how long we're going to leave it in. Maybe two days, maybe one day. I don't know. We'll see. I ended up leaving the braids in for two days and to maintain my edges, I would just wear a scarf. Um, I'm going to start with this quick scalp massage using the Curls Blissful Lengths Oil. I like to do this because my scalp does get dry sometimes, so just to um, moisturize my scalp, I'll do a quick little massage and to stimulate hair growth as well. When I'm taking the braids out, I like to coat my hands in oil as well. It's just redistributing moisture into my hair and it's going to give my hair shine as well. And when I'm taking the braids out, I like to do it carefully to avoid any frizz. Um, I'll do it slowly, just pulling the braids apart. And when I get to the cornrow section, I'll do the same. I'm just gently pulling to avoid any frizz. Once I get the braids completely taken out, I like to go in to the section, each section and separate down the middle just to create more volume. Um, by doing this, you're loosening up the sections that are stuck together and you're pulling apart the curls. So when I'm splitting it down the middle, I'm gonna create more volume and to really lift up my roots, I'm gonna go back in with my pick as well to make my hair bigger. If I see any sections that are a little dry and can use some more shine, I'll put more of the oil back into it. But yeah, this is the finished look. Um, I'll go through and pull apart curls throughout the day if I see it, or if I just need more volume, I'll put my fingers onto my scalp and kind of lift my roots more. But this is it guys. Um, this is how I get a defined braid out look. It's a great protective style. It's a great way to give your hair a break and it's a great way to create curls for transitioning hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>